right now. I ignored that. I was dancing and then I got really tired to do the dance convention and stuff. I was really tired and like really tired, really sweaty. Plus the outfit that I was wearing made it work because I won't be wearing my like outfit next week. Next week is a big week which I'll get into in a few minutes but the reasoning is I had picked out the swimsuit that I just got with the skirt er, and I had like all these bows that I clipped onto it. Like I had so many bows. Like I had two on my outfit and three in my hair. Like five bows on me. <laughs> and like so many bobby pins. Like it was so much. And no one really said anything which was shocking to me. Because my, like, it was shocking to me because it's a really noticeable look. So I'm really hoping, I'm going to wait until, like, tomorrow to pick out a new outfit or sometime this week. Because my mom did say she ordered a sparkly dance outfit that's two-piece and stuff that I'm, that should, it might get here by next Sunday, hopefully. Because the reason that I won't be wearing that up is I like the look of it, but the bathing suit, because it's a really stretchy bathing suit, the straps are pushing up against my shoulders like a little bit, like it fits me. But uh, we were doing so many different arm positions and our arms were going up and like I, I was really pushing up against them a lot, you know. If I can't, um, I, if the dance outfit doesn't get here in time, I'm going to pick out something different to wear instead of the bathing suit, but I'm going to keep everything out, and I probably will end up wearing, like, a leotard. But yeah, next week is a really big week. Because next Sunday, there was no audition this Sunday. I was prepared in case there was. Next Sunday, we have Miranda instead of Gianna, I think. And also, on top of it, I'm really annoyed with, my, with the tablet right now. Because it keeps popping up something. First, it said, like, you to reloading or something, like a bunch of just things, and I keep clicking away. But I, um, I was, like, prepared for it, and we didn't have it this week. We learned two different sections, um, the Rose Garden, I think it was, or something. It was the Dance Mom dance, and, 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 like, uh, in, like, I learned two sections. We learned two sections because there is, it's a group dance, so obviously their partner work and stuff. And stuff. This one had a lot of floor work compared to the week before, which is when we learned drats. I forget what dance. Oh, dancing in the ring. That's what it was. So it had a lot of floor work in it. And I don't really like floor work as much. And the reasoning is because um, my floor that I'm dancing on is, like, hard floor. or And so it's really uncomfortable on, like, my knees and my legs and stuff. Um, and so, like, but overall the dance was really good. But in on Dance Mom, when they were doing this group dance, they had this really heavy really massive headpiece that was bigger than their faces, you know, and it was probably really heavy, but on top of that, they had really long, like, fake nails, like, I, you know when you get, like, those clear, like, fake nails, and then you, like, paint them, and you, like, do them yourself, or sometimes you can go to, like, a nail salon and get them done. Um, you know, like, 
and then usually they like shape them and stuff. That's what they were wearing. I don't think they were shaped or anything. They were just wearing them. And so, yeah, next week it's a big week. We have Miranda, and on top of it, we have the audition again. And... Yeah, I did learn what the audition, like, what the scholarship was for, which is for to do the Sunday class again. And what ended up happening was, in that case, I'm probably going to, like, tell them, like, hey, give it to someone else. Or put the scholarship for a different, like, like, for, like, Instead of a scholarship, like a dance private, you know, like something different or to tell them, hey, give the scholarship to someone else. But like, just take a moment and count me as the winner. Like, I won, but I'm going to give it to someone else because there's no point in me having it for stuff because I have the worldwide, the full schedule worldwide, not just the Sunday, so... I'm already going to be in the Sunday class anyways the next week. And so, yeah, that kind of comes into it. And it's unfair to take something, something that someone else could actually use when I already have access to it. So, yeah. You know, but, like, Make me the winner, you know, like, I'm going to give it all I got, win, and then I'm going to be like, hey, give it to someone who actually, actually, like, needs, like, someone that actually only could use it and actually would have to pay to do the next one. Yeah, and if that happens, then maybe they'll let me, like, pick someone. And, like, I have, like, a rule that I, like, go by. I, um, where I never look at any of the other dancers. Like, occasionally, if they're spotlighted or something, then I will. Because, like, it's, when I look at the screen, that's what I'm seeing. But I try not to because I was... When it comes down to it, now, when it comes down to it, even though it's a class, as and on Sundays is when I really follow this rule because on Sunday, sometimes we have an audition afterwards. They become the enemy, you know, the competition. So I try not to, but today, I kind of didn't do the best. And that's okay. And I do even in class unless it's the, like, in-person people because, you, like, with it, you never know when they're going to throw something on you, like an audition or a competition or something. Like, you just never know. Oh, and you never know if one day you're going to compete up against that person. So, yeah, that situation, but I'm hoping that, like, tomorrow, which I doubt it, but I'm hoping that my fidgets get here because I'm really eager for them. I ordered a couple different fidgets. So, I ordered one pack, which is in, off of Amazon, which has so many fidgets in it, like, Highly recommend if you ever like want like a pack of fidgets, go to Amazon. If you scroll enough and if you put like cheap, like if you put like fidget packs cheap on Amazon and you scroll enough, there's some um that's all the way down to like nine dollars. I got one that was nine dollars and it comes with so many fidgets. I think it had 
I don't remember the exact amount, but I think it had a lot. It had, I know for a fact it had more than 10. Like, it had so many fidgets in it. Then I ordered this three-pack of poppet, which is a burger poppet, a fries poppet, and then a popsicle poppet. You know, which is a fun little pack, and that was like six dollars. Yes. Like, you know, like, I love me some poppets, and when it, like, goes together, I like a meal. Like, you got your burger, your fries, and then your popsicle for dessert. Nope. Uh, yes. And then I also ordered one more thing, which is a three pack. So it has three of the magnet rings because they look really cool. And they're nothing special. Like, I didn't get, like, a rare one. I literally found a set that was cheap for, like, $4. And they're just basic colors. Nothing fancy about them, but cool. And when I, after I had ordered them, I went like, I realized I'm going to need like a new bin to like put the fidgets in and stuff. So I'm going to grab one from the classroom because in our, actually, I might be able to use that basket. There, I just got to, yeah. Might be able to use that basket. Probably. Because I do have a basket that was my laundry basket at one point. But I'm probably going to use something different. Yeah, we have a bin in the, like, in the classroom. And we have a bunch of stuff piled up. I'm like... Things that are just being stored in the classroom. Some of it is stuff going to Bella. Some of it is going to, like, kids in our family and stuff. And some of it is just toys and stuff that I have that is being stored. And the reason that I have toys, like, I, I don't play with, like, baby dolls and stuff too much. But I do like them because I collect them and, like, I'm the type where I get really excited over that sort of stuff, but then I don't play with it. I display them. And then, like, when the kids come over, come over, like, and by kids, we have, like, obviously we have little kids in our family and stuff. Like, I will, like, I, I, I'll let them play with it and stuff. But I am really tired today. And next week we aren't learning a combo. We are doing like jumps and turns and a lot of things like that. So I'm excited. But there is going to be the audition, and I think we're using the same routine that we did last week. I'm hoping because, like, if we don't, it's fine. Like, I can learn a new routine, like, immediately. Like, I pick up on routines fast, but the reasoning that I'm hoping is I know this routine in and out, backwards, for every detail of it. I know how the face should be. I... I kind of remember the music a little bit. I know every move in it. I know, like, what is supposed to be a certain way. Like, I know the routine so well. Um, if that's the case, then they shouldn't have given me two weeks. Because uh, two weeks is more than enough time. Considering I can learn a routine in 15 minutes. Have it stay ready in, in, to compete it or perform it. Or audition with it in 15 minutes. In minutes. And look like I've been learning it for years. Or months or something like. For a really long time. Like make it look like I've known the routine and been working on it forever. In 15 minutes. So yeah. And we had like. Look, 
we had like around an hour I think last week with the routine and then with the routine and the like I'm kind of figuring out like what we were going to do for the improv like I was going over that in my head we had like two seconds to like get some water or something and before the audition and then we had the audition all in an hour's time span <laughs> And I did really, really good. I'm hoping that dance outfit gets here because my mom says it's sparkly. I was not there, or I was in the house when she ordered it. It was, or I think, unless it was when I went and got my COVID shot. I don't know. Because that's the only time I've been out of the house in, like, weeks. And stuff, but I'm really excited about my fidgets. And there will be either a video or more than one video coming soon as they get here. But I am going to grab a basket from the classroom. But yeah, overall it turned out really good like I I know this routine and I'm really excited and, and that swimsuit just pushes up against my shoulders that I can't really it's a great swimsuit great for swimming just not for dancing and I feel like if it was gonna be like five maybe ten minutes at most 30 minutes at most then I would be like okay it's fine to dance in but no Right now, I am a little bit hot and sweaty still, and I was going to turn the air conditioner on, but it makes, I don't think you would be able to hear me and stuff, but I had fun dancing today. Like today, a, I had fun dancing, but also at the same time, I was like, just get it done with my situation because the swimsuit was pushing up against my shoulders a little bit and also I was kind of tired still from yesterday because yesterday was a very busy family day and uh, if you were wondering what my hairstyle was because I wasn't sure what it was going to be I wore some makeup I had like a pink eyeshadow look with some mascara and some blush. Nothing too crazy. And then for the hair, I had a um, bun. I had a bun. I used this, which is that was hair scrunchie. And a fun little hack that I'm going to tell you. I think norm, I feel like this is a normal thing, but in case it isn't, a fun little hack to get your bun easier is to just make a normal ponytail, make like a normal ponytail, make a little bit higher up if you want a high bun or like if you want a lower bun then however, put it wherever you want the height of your bun to be. And then you put like a hair tie in it, you know, normal ponytail. And then you twist it around like, okay, here's my ponytail. And then I'm twisting it around the base. So, you, and then you take a hair scrunchie or another hair. I like using hair scrunchies. They look really cool and they cover up the hair tie even though your hair, depending on the length, might cover up the hair tie. And they're just fun. This one is Bella's hair scrunchie, but I did wear it today because I wanted to bring a little piece of Bella with me, like in case we had an audition or something. 
and then you like just put the hair scrunchie or hair tie and you wrap it a couple of times so like put it on twist it put it on again like a second layer so like we're gonna pretend this is the bun see how i'm twisting and then i'm looping like that so then it's double looped and then you have a bun and then you can just add bobby pins and whatever you want to add to it or just leave it like that and for me what i did was kind of afterwards or where it still wasn't the greatest looking the bun itself was pretty good but my hair was still looking a little bit bad and i didn't have a ton of time um, so what I did was I took, because my hair is so short that there's this, like, mullet or, like, this, like, hair that's, like, too short to do anything with. And it's a fun little hack that I'm going to tell you if you have this situation. Like, I'm going to show you the length. Okay. Can't really go up or anything. You take a bunch of bobby pins and you just bobby pin it up to the rest of your hair. I use like 10 bobby pins in it, in it and it stayed up all throughout dance. But my little hack is don't put the bobby pins the same way. Like put a couple going one way and then put a couple on the other side. You know that way, way like it, it's just a little hack and it comes out better because Sometimes the bobby pin kind of like, or the hair like sometimes slides out of the bobby pin. You can let me know, is that like a normal thing or is it just me? Like whenever I bobby pin like my bangs up, um, dress, I did not put a bobby pin on this. Wait, yes I did. You should be up higher then. But whenever I bobby pin like my bangs up or even just like a section of my hair, I feel like it slides out. Like after a while, it just slides out. Ow, oh, and so fun little. But if you put them like, if you put like one on your right side and then take one going this way, so that like this, we're going to pretend this part is the opening of the bobby pin like this and then this it can't slide out unless your bobby pins physically slide out so yeah that's a fun little hack that I and, and then I took two jojo bones I'm gonna actually show them because they're right here I took this black one put it on top with this pink one, I think, or the black one was at the bottom, I can't remember. There's a photo on my Instagram story. So, yeah. And, like, you couldn't even, like, see my hair. Like, you saw, like, a little bit of my hair, but mostly you saw both. And it's going to be really fun. And um, next week's going to be fun, but I'm, like, tired and I just want to stop. And then, yeah, I was really tired to the point where I was so, like, thirsty, sweaty, tired that I literally got done with dance. And I went into the bathroom and fixed my, like... I immediately like fixed my hair into just this because wearing it up was not the most comfortable thing. It was pretty comfortable to be honest. And then I immediately like changed and then I took a work bag to my face and I scrubbed my face and got every ounce of makeup off of my face. Actually, only I think there might be a little bit yeah, there's definitely a little bit of mascara.
And so, yeah. Okay, I think I got a lot of that. There's still some. This guy not as much. But also this side I did first. I removed everything off of this side first. And the reason, well, there really wasn't a reason. So yeah, I like got changed and I like went back to just being comfortable into something like this. And I'm really happy about it. And I'm happy that I will finally have a decent size fidget collection. I'm obsessed with fidgets. I haven't tried a ton of them. One that I am really looking forward to that is in the pack that I got is an infinity cube. I'm really excited about that. So, yeah, but, it was, like, life is interesting, but I'm not excited to have a bigger fidget collection, and you'll either get one video, or you might get two, or potentially three. I don't know, because they might come at different times. I'm hoping they all get here at the same time. Um, but you might get like one video like I playing with some magnet ring. <laughs> and then you might get one like I playing with my new poppets and then one with my fidget packs. I mean, like, or you could just get one. I'm playing with fidgets with my new fidgets and it's not playing with them, it's unboxing them like playing with and there's so many that I have not tried yet. And this pack has so many fidgets. I'm really excited. Peace out.